Welcome to all of you on the channel Maths with Munir. I hope that you all are doing great and watching my videos. So without wasting any single moment, let's begin with the with the question which we are going to solve from the topic ratio and proportion. And I am solving this question on a special demand. And let me apologize uh, in my videos for for solving this question late. Like I said in my previous video. Because I was so busy in making arrangement for my online coaching classes since I am getting offer not from only uh, different cities of Pakistan but also from the foreign countries. So Alhamdulillah my channel is growing up on, on daily basis. So if you are visiting my channel daily you might have noticed one thing that the number of viewers and the number of subscribers are increasing in daily which is a very positive sign and I am really thankful to all of you for supporting me and for appreciating the work that I am doing. Inshallah soon this channel will become a platform where the student can learn a lot of knowledge from the from the different level of mathematics from the grade 6 up to the master's level. Okay, so we are going to solve the question and make sure you should have your copy and pen with you so that you could note, uh, note down every single step. So the question say, says tap A takes 6 minutes to fill a tank and tap B takes 9 minutes to fill the same tank. Pipe C can empty the tank in 15 minutes. How long will it take to fill up the tank if the pipe is in used when both the taps are turned on? So in this question we have to make a figure so that you would have a better understanding. So uh, please don't be offended and I am apologizing again for my ba bad uh, drawing because drawing has never been my, uh, my expertise. So you have to neglect the way I am making things over here. And you got to understand the concept what I am trying to convey to you because concept is power. Okay, so first of all we need to understand that why for tap A it takes uh, 6 minutes and why for tap B it takes uh, 9 minutes. You know the taps are always in the shape of a circular. So tap A might have a wider diameter. So that is why it, take, uh, it takes less time for tap A to fill up the whole tank because the water coming from the tap A in per minute is is small is greater than for tab B and while tab B is also in the circular shape which has a very small diameter and that is why it takes more time for tab B to fill up the whole thing. So let's make a tank over here and I am going to make it in in a cylindrical shape because I am go I am good in making cylinders. Okay. So this is your water tank please ignore it if, if you if you are drawing your water tank in a different way so there are two taps tap let's suppose that this is your tap a and this is your tap b you might be surprised to know that how these taps are filling this water tank without having any water connection so again ignore that part so tap a you see it's more in diameter okay it's actually a circular you got to assume that this is a circular tap and i can't really draw it so it has more diameter so that is why it take less time for tap b it's taking more time because the diameter of the tap is actually smaller than tap a now there is a pipe c over here there is a pipe c over here which is emptying the tank so the question says while both the taps are open and the tap the pipe c is also in use we need to find in how many time in how much time this wa this water tank will be uh, will be filled okay so tap a takes six minutes to fill up the tank so in one minute so this is your solution in one minute for tap a it will fill one by six of the tank so for tap A it taking 6 minute to fill up the whole tank. So for 1 minute it will take 1 over 6 of the tank. It will fill 1 over 6 of the tank. So in 1 minute for tap B it will take 1 by 9. So for tap B which was taking alone 9 minute to fill up the tank and for uh, in 1 minute it will fill 1 by 9 of the tank. So please these notice that these two timings are alone so in one minute tap a alone will fill one by six of the tank and in one minute tap b will in uh, so in alone tap b will fill one by nine of the tank in one minute okay while in one minute 
while in one minute for pipe C it will take for pipe C it will take uh, it will empty one hour fifteen of the tank. So pipe C can empty the whole tank in fifteen minute while in one minute it will take one by fifteen. So while both the water taps are open and this it means that we are going to add them and since this is open so this will we will minus this. So in one minute so in one minute tap A plus tap B are filling this much amount of the portion of tank and the pipe C, uh, pipe C is basically emptying or draining 1 by 15 of the tank. So, we need to make the denominator same in order to solve this expression. So, I am going to remove my figure. Okay. So, 1 multiplied by 15, 6 multiplied by 15 plus 1 multiplied by 10 and 9 multiplied by 10 minus 1 multiplied by 6 and 15 multiplied by 6. So, 15 over 90 plus 10 over 90 minus 6 over 90. So, 10 plus 15 will be 25, 25 minus 6 will be 19 over 90. Okay. So, in one minute, in one minute, 19 over 90 of the tank is being filled when both the taps are open and also the pipe C is, is in use. So, basically we need to find how much time will it require. So, what we are going to do? This 90 will come over here and 19 will come on the denominator. So, 19 over 19 will take this is the time that is required in order to fill the whole tank. So, 19 over 90 you can write it into uh, whole number divide 19 with 90. So, 90 over 19 it would be 19 times 4 would be 76 and 14. So, you can write 4 whole number 14 over 19 minutes. So, this is the time that requires in order to fill up the tank while both the taps are open and the pipe C is in also used. So, I hope that you have got this video. Please do not forget to subscribe and share this channel link as much as you can so that it's, it reaches to the maximum student.